Hello and welcome to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles with Bit Pixel. A let's play that's going to take me a very, very, very long time. Uh, I've never played this game. I know little about it. I just know that I've wanted to play it for a while because I've heard good things about it. I've heard bad things about it. And I want a little bit I want to know a little bit more about Shulk, the character in Smash, also from this game obviously. So I've chose to play through this game. I know it's gonna take me a while, because it's a long game. But to me, it's gonna be a bit worth it. I'm gonna turn on the volume a bit. Hello, okay. So let's uh dive right in. Wild. Loud stuff. I'll be quiet for the story here because I know there's a pretty long cutscene here. Or I'm pretty sure it's pretty long. I've played this first part at least once, and that's about it. And some more, ago, I think. The world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. Advancing down our weak right flank. <laughs> For a bunch of Solar's machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Come on. We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah. We yeah. may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your buddy can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. 
I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Boy, you two. We've been ordered to pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> the enemy's second wave is approaching. It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah. Huh. What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. We gotta fight back, or we got a guy that's uh, a little on his own side here. Alright, Elder are the target enemy. Obviously, we know what the enemy are. It's the Mekon. Mekon. Okay, so I know a little bit about the uh, fighting. It's kind of like an automatic. Ter it's not really. Ter it's like an RPG. I don't really know like, what to call it, really. But it's kind of like you automatically attack. Like, I'm not pressing anything right now. It's just kind of automatically attacking. Um, I can swap the Monado. Increase damage, that seems like it would help a lot. So it's just kind of like stand your ground fighting, really. Uh, kind of move around, try to get behind. It's kind of weird how it kind of automatically attacks, but it's also kind of neat because you don't see many games that kind of do that. So this game is definitely unique. And I like it, kind of. I think I like it. It's a tiny little mech on here. It's, it's like an M69. I didn't catch what the other one was, what other type it was. I'm not too sure about much of this game. It seems really cool though. And I'm gonna be, I might as well think it's pretty cool because I'm gonna be stuck with this game for a, a while. I'm gonna keep using increased damage because I think this is not an ordinary weapon and the other Monado I can activate causes more damage to ordinary weapons. Did I do that to all of them at one time? It's wild. Oh gosh, big guy. Big guy Sam here. Oh my goodness, he's a large one, M82. <laughs> Get the feet, man. Strike his feet. You have a nerve. Deadly chainsaw. That must have been the attack he used. I didn't really catch it. Sha! Gosh, your Monado gets like so long. Bounce, chicka, how count? Oh my gosh, I really don't know what to say. I'll, I'll, I'll express more opinion about this game once I see more. Jeez. Cut him, man, cut him. Stuff. You gotta be kidding! It's their main force. Looks like the Mekon are hell bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Monka. Let's do this. Mumcar really isn't um, down the clown with this situation, it seems. Jeez. Jeez, what's his face is just going to town. We're going around town. Oh yeah, Dunbar. Bomb. That's his name. Almost forgot Dixon. No. I ain't going down that easily. Yes, please. Right. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm still good to go. <laughs> Guess even a hero's gotta reach his limit eventually. Monkar, what are you doing? That boy is. Uh oh. Hate to drop this on you, but it's the Monado they're after. So have fun keeping them occupied for me. I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh my god, you judge. Now don't worry, I'll organize your funerals. <laughs> well, see you, boys. Wait. Huh? That's the minefield. <laughs> you see him fly <laughs> off in the space. <laughs> Looks like this is it. 
The bond. What are you playing at? That's the mine field. What do you slip on? My goodness. I'm good this boy, there's all that. I guess that's just more of the Mechon. If you think the Hawks, the people of Bionis, are just waiting here for you to pick us off, you are sorely mistaken. Visuals. Looking like a big world to explore. So the so the, the land they live on is two giant dead corpses. That's what I understood from that, and that's what I kind of figured because when they talked about we are on Bionis, whatever his name is. I was like, okay, so that's the that's the giant titan at the beginning. So are they living on this dead titan? And it looks like that's right. I might be wrong, but that's really what they look like. Can they call M71? I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Oh, no good. It's broken. Good old shulk. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. Huh? An M sixty nine. Its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to. Oh. Oh. Shulk! My goodness. Ryan! It's not a mechon. It's just a crabble. Just a crabble? It just looks like a little crab that they can just run away from. Why are they fighting it? I mean, whatever, but this thing's not gonna really chase me, is it? When HP gauge is depleted, the character will be in a cap. Okay. So, restores HP in one party member, and attack from behind to deal additional damage. It did not figure. Talent arts. So, all right. That I don't know. I don't. Okay, whatever. The three enemies will drop chests. Press A to open and take the loot. I am crabble shells and take all. Why not? Why not? Oh goodness gracious! Yeah, I understood the barrier from a long time ago. measure of aggro is the measure of a monster's feelings of animosity towards each party member. <laughs> Goodness, man, they really want some, huh? Common cather, cather pile. That's weird. Okay. I don't see my health, though. Is that my health? The orange bars are underneath me. Oh, I see the health. Oh, it's the blue bar above me. Okay, that should that should have been obvious. That should have been obvious. Thanks, Ryan. That was a close one. Now, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah, but thanks to you, we got its shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. Oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. 
The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Shulk's head seems to be shaped weird to me, like, just...